spring dresses, a couple of jumpsuits, and a couple of skirts is what I will be sharing with you today. I have been in the process of downsizing some of my belongings. I just have too much stuff that I've accumulated over the years. One thing about me is I hold on to items for a long time. Um, I'm not a clutter freak by nature, but when it comes to clothing and accessories, I am someone who will wear something, a, a garment, a piece of clothing that I wore 10, 12 years ago. A lot of clothing pieces that I purchase stay somewhat in style and they look great on me because I've maintained my weight over the years. But I just have so much. <laughs> I have so much. I don't purchase as much as I used to many, many years ago. I was much more of a shopper back in the day than I am today. So I'm definitely a less is more and really more focused on quality pieces that are more classic that I can add maybe some accessories to give it that in season or up with the time trendy look but I've really shifted over the years. I am sure many of you, as you get older, have as well. If that is you, let me know in the comment section below if you can relate to this. So I have been trying to gradually purge and get rid of items, and I decided to start with the clothing pieces. I decided to start with dresses. Many of you are aware that I have a thrift shop on Instagram. I have an Instagram page where I sell items that I'm over, and it's called Over It. The thrift page is called Over It, meaning I'm over it. Even if I love it, I'm just over having it in the home. So I decided to start with dresses, and I, I have a lot. And again, some of these dresses I have had forever. I can, th I can remember Pips, Chloe, being a toddler or preschooler when I wore some of these dresses that I'm gonna share with you today. I told myself that I had to pull 15 dresses. And I'm gonna share that every time I put one of the dresses on, I got very melancholy because Every single dress, just about, I would say, maybe a couple, I didn't get much wear out of, but almost all of them I associate with something that was special. But I'm not going to be able to downsize and, and declutter and purge if I'm holding on to pieces because there is a memory attached to them. So today I am going to share several. I know that it was very tough for me to pull 15, so I'm not selling all of my dresses, jumpsuits, or anything like that, but I told myself I had to get to that number. I don't know how many there is going to be in total, but I know it's going to be more than 15. This was tough, it really was, but I am gonna share with you several pieces, dresses, jumpsuits, and a couple of skirts that I am selling on my Over It Thrift page. In the description box below will be information on how you can purchase one of these dresses. A couple of things I'd like you to know is I am size two, I'm five foot six inches, and on the day that I filmed these dresses. I was right in the middle of my weight window. I was 123 pounds. I'm a size two or a size 26 in jeans. And hopefully this will help you if you're deciding on if one of these pieces will fit you. Now, a lot of my dresses are not a size two because I have a bust, I have a chest. So while I'm very lean, I have a chest. Often I have to purchase dresses in a larger size, sometimes a four or a six. Almost every jumpsuit or dress goes to the tailor and it's really because of the bust. I don't have that problem with pants or trousers because I'm just small all over in that area. But with dresses, it's much trickier. I won't be able to get the, the back zipped up or the buttons closed, and I don't like when you can just tell something is too snug in a certain area. 
So I will share all of the details on each dress and the size, but bear in mind, many of these were ordered in a larger size. So they are tailored to fit a size two body, but more of a larger chest. If you purchase a dress and you're a size two, but you're smaller chested, you may just need to get it tweaked a little bit, but it may also work. I think many of these dresses will. So I want to be very clear about sizing, but all of the information on how to purchase one of the dresses will be in the description box below, as well as on the Over It Thrift page, which is on Instagram. There is an Instagram highlight on the Over It Thrift page with instructions as well. So if you decide you want to purchase one of the dresses, it should be an easy process. I have sold many items on Over It. As things sell, we typically, I say we because I do have a team, I have help in this, we take down, actually I don't, one of my team members will remove the photo so that it's no longer there because there's nothing worse than scrolling along and seeing something you'd like and you find out it's sold. But an item can be marked sold and not necessarily have been completed because the transaction may be still in process. We don't actually take it down until payment has been made. So I encourage you to sit back, take a peek at the dresses that I'm going to share with you today. Everything is in great condition. I would not sell anything if it wasn't. I did have a really great dress, but it had a rip in it. I'm glad I caught it. I think that was the beauty in putting the dresses on is it gave me an opportunity to look over them. Every single dress had a dry cleaning tag on it, so they've all been cleaned. I did put them on for the video, but they will be packaged up nicely and sent to you, and we usually ship within 48 hours, but all of those details will be in the description box as well as on the corresponding blog post. Many of the items that I'm going to share with you today, there's images on my Instagram page and in blog post. If I can find a blog post, or a YouTube video or photos that I can give you a link to to get another look at it, I will do that. So be sure to really check out uh, the description box, which you'll probably want to go to the corresponding blog post, which is always your top link because it'll be more detailed there. But if I wore something in a blog post, even if it was way back in the day, I think it would be nice for you to see how I styled it. Because don't forget, I used to do fashion posts on, on my Tracy Hensel blog. So um, lots of these will probably be on there. So I will try to gather up whatever I can, but Hopefully, if, if you're in the market for some dresses and you don't mind purchasing pre-owned, pre-loved, and these are still loved, this is very tough for me, and almost every dress I put on, I said, this fits me so good. I really look great in this. Why am I getting rid of it? But they're just not getting used. They're just not getting used, and I just can't rent the real estate in our home any longer, knowing that at some point we're probably gonna sell and move and possibly downsize. I just don't need as much. I don't get as dressed up as often, so what are you gonna do? Just hang on to the dresses for the memories? I just know, but some of you may be in the market and I would love to share and help you out in that way and share some of my pre-owned and pre-loved dresses with you. So let's take a peek at the dresses. This first dress has always been a favorite of mine. It's from Express. It is a size small and it's never been altered. I love the tie waist because I believe it's slenderizing. And I love the detail on the neckline with the ruffle. And this, this deep turquoise is just such a stunning color. And I think the coral, the orange and coral flowers with that lime green really set off the whole look. Dress number two, a teal lace dress. This is from Forever 21. It's a size medium. Now understand Forever 21 is more junior sizes. So it runs a little bit small. This dress also has never been altered that I can recall. I've had it so long, so I don't know for certain, but I think this dress, it's young, it's flirty, and I love the lace, it's very feminine. 
Dress number three, love the shade of this blue. Oh, one of my favorite cool tone blues and I love the stripes. So many wonderful memories with this dress. It's from Loft. It's a size zero, believe it or not, but I do feel Loft runs a little bit large and this dress has never been altered. Here we have a more midi length navy blue dress with some beautiful blush and mauve tone florals on it. Again, a tie waist, which is very slenderizing. This dress has never been altered and it is a size small. The brand Just Fab. This dress is so special to me for all of you who started following me from the classy lady video. You will recognize this dusty pink lace dress from Bordeaux. It is a size six and it has been altered. When I had the dress altered, I also had some breast pad inserts put in there so you do not need to wear a bra. You do not need to worry about popping through. You will be all covered, but wow, I love this dress. I have a blog post. You can check out the link to that where Paul and I got some pictures taken, but I love this dress. Next up, we have a bright pink jumpsuit. This is from ASOS. It is a size four. It also has been altered, and I also had breast pads sewn in for this, so you would not have to worry about having a bra. When I have breast pads put in my garments, I have the real good solid thick one so there's no popping through. This is really just a lot of fun. I would say it's maybe a little bit more of a warmer pink, but I think it's super fun. Up next, we have an orchid shade of dress. I would call that orchid, I guess. This is by Jessica Simpson. It's a size small, no alterations, really just a fun kind of going out look. And if you like an above the knee and something that's a little fitted on the bottom and accent those curves, this would be a great pick for you. A dress in a similar color. This dress is by True Vision. It's a size eight and I've never had alterations on this dress. This dress is more of that scuba material. So if you have a lot of lumps and bumps, you throw on your Spanx, which I will have the Spanx that I wear under all of my dresses. I will have the Spanx linked, but you would not have to worry about any lumps and bumps showing in this dress. It'll smooth you right out again. A lot of fun with that big ruffle thing going on. Very, very chic. This dress is in great condition. Uh, this blue dress with the big white flowers that just stand out. It's, it's gotten a lot of love. Uh, the dress is a size six. The, the brand is Ronnie Nicole, and this dress has been altered to fit me. with a little green. Green is the color of the season and I would say this is probably more of a warm tone green but I'm cool tone and I pulled it off very well. I remember wearing this dress to my fourth daughter Carly Shays high school graduation. Love the way this dress fits. Very flattering with that tie front. More of that uh, rouge type look that can be so slenderizing. The dress is by Super Fox. It's a size small, no alterations. Here we have a Cynthia Rowley 100% silk 
turquoise dress. You could belt this. I, I love this dress. I do feel like it was a little bit small around the bust line. The dress has never been altered and it's a size two, which would kind of make sense because my bust area really isn't a size two. There's a good chance I picked this up at a place like TJ Maxx and just said I'm gonna run with it. But love the color, I think it's great for the season and you could have a lot of fun with jewelry or a nice scarf. Around the neck would be beautiful as well, but love it, 100% silk. Moving into a jumpsuit, I love this striped jumpsuit. Just for reference, the color is navy that you're seeing in the stripes, not black, so there's navy, green, white, turquoise, and and then there's a little silver in there. So if you love your silver accessories and jewelry, this would be a great jumpsuit for you. Again, it's going to have that tie around the waist with that beautiful neckline, very slenderizing. This will lean you out and give you that waistline if you don't have a natural one. I always have to give the illusion that I have more of a waist than I do. It's by Donna Morgan, size two, never had any alterations. Oh, I love this beauty, and boy, is this dress slenderizing with the cinched waist. Oh, love that, and love the ruffle. It's feminine, it's flirty, it's just a very romantic dress. Misa, uh, Los Angeles, size small, never had any alterations. This was a pricier dress. I don't know if I can still find it. I, I got it from Revolve, but I just, I think this is just beautiful. I think it'd be beautiful for a baby shower, a bridal shower, um, a brunch, just a lot of uses that you could get out of this dress. And again, very slenderizing. If you are a maxi dress kind of girl and you like some color, this dress is a knockout. It's a stunner if you're in great shape. It's gonna hug those curves just perfectly. Size four by Bisu, Bisu Michelle Bobot, something like that. I will uh, you have the name in the description box of the dress. Never had any alterations on this, and yeah, just a great dress for a beach vacation. Um, just your perfect summer maxi. Moving on to a white skirt. This is pretty solid, but I would say it's a softer white, but it is definitely not an off-white or ivory. It definitely is white. It's lined, which I think is so important. The skirt is from H&M. It's a size six, and it's never had any alterations. Now bear in mind, a size six at H&M is like a US two. So whenever I purchase anything for the bottom, whether it's jeans, pants, trousers, skirt, anything on the bottom, I always order a size six, which is equivalent to a size two at H&M. Next up, we have a beautiful floral skirt. This is an ivory backdrop or an off-white. Let me just share with you, this is not a dress, it is a skirt. The cami is not for sale. I am not giving up that cami, that is for sure. So this is skirt only. It's by a line reviews. Size small, no alterations, but love the skirt. Next up, we have a white and off-white monochrome dress by Maggie London, size four. Never had any alterations. I actually wore this dress to Kirsten's baby shower when she was pregnant with baby June. When I took the dress to the dry cleaners, I have a feeling that somewhere the belt to this dress, because it did have a belt, must have gotten misplaced. Either that or I misplaced it when it came back from the dry cleaners. The belt that I am wearing to show you how this dress looks is not sold with the dress. So that, that belt is mine. Uh, the dress is great material. 
it's going to be slenderizing and also if you have lumps and bumps this is going to be a great dress oh I just love this dress it's just it is really hard for me to scale back but I just can't I mean I can't be renting all this real estate this dress is banana Republic love the shade of pink just Wow just wow size two no alterations banana republic i feel runs a little bit big so it would make sense that this dress fit me around the chest area here we have a very sexy very sexy jumpsuit from express all black very flattering love the pockets um definitely a little cleavage going on but it's great for a night out. I actually wore this to a wedding reception. I love doing a jumpsuit for a wedding reception because I feel it's the wild card. Um, I got some great pictures of Paul and me when I was wearing this jumpsuit. Those are on my Instagram page if you want to go check them out. But I love the way this looks. I feel it. You just feel sexy wearing it. And no shame in that, right? No shame, ladies, but great jumpsuit. And the beautiful dress that I was wearing in the opening and in the closing of this video, Trina Turk, which is a great line. This is a size four, no alterations. Love the colors in this. Such a great print. I just love the print, the colors, everything about it. And I think this is very flattering because you cinch in that waist, which is always really important to me. There's also a navy slip that goes with it. It is underneath. It's not attached. Maybe it was, but I cut it out. I, I think they're complicated to get on when the slip is attached. I have it detached, but it is on underneath. It, it comes with the dress. It was sold with the dress. And just so you know, that's navy that you're seeing, not black, and the slip underneath is navy as well. Well, there you have it. My pre-loved dresses, jumpsuits, and a couple of skirts. Don't forget to click on the top link in the description box below this video where it says corresponding blog post. All of the information on how to purchase one of these items and how the shipping goes will all be in that blog post as well as on the Over It Instagram page, which I will have a link to as well. There will be a photo of each dress on Instagram for you to do the checkout. And I hope you find something that you like and I will get it off to you. So thanks for joining me. All right, we'll see you soon here on YouTube. Take care.